Thanks for joining us today. The following video will provide you with a quick introduction to OnDigo's App Central featuring AppGuard. App Central is designed to help your enterprise, regardless if it is large or small, to deal with the proliferation of mobile phones amongst employees. If you are like most companies, you probably have a mixture of company-owned phones and employee-owned phones. You want to provide your employees with access to your critical applications on their mobile phones to allow them to do their jobs better. But at the same time, you need to manage the access to corporate information so that it remains secure even if the employee loses their phone. This is the environment which App Central was designed for. As you will see in this demo, App Central helps three audiences inside our fictional company, Spacely Sprockets. Dan, the developer, who has built an internal mobile app, which he needs to get deployed securely across the company. Ingrid, the IT employee, who needs to support the needs of the mobile users, but at the same time needs to ensure that applications are only available to authorized personnel and that the data is always secure. Ed, the end-user employee, who wants to use his mobile phone to perform his job better while on the move. Although each of these three individuals have different objectives, all three will come together and meet their goals using App Central. Let's start the demo. Dan has developed a great mobile application for Spacely Sprockets. It allows field representatives to gain real-time access to critical company information resources on their mobile phone. Dan's finished version 1.0 of the Space Age app, and now he wants to get it out and used by the Spacely employees. To achieve his objective, Dan will use App Central, which will distribute the application to the employees and provide Dan with feedback on how it's being used and if there are any problems with it. To do this, Dan will open his internet browser. Now he's going to go to theappcentral.com. From the AppCentral.com, Dan can log in to his developer account. Now, within this dashboard, we can see that Dan has already submitted one application titled Barcoder, and now he's going to submit another. He wants to submit a J2ME app. Here, he reads that his application is going to have the AppGuard API applied to it automatically. In a little while, we'll talk about what the AppGuard API does. The application that he has made is an internal app, so only for Spacely employees. And it's the SpaceAge application. He types a description and his seller's name. He sees here that he's going to need to upload a jar. Then he also uploads a JAD file, although it's not necessary. And he will upload an app icon. Let's say that he wants to support these three devices. Lastly, he will choose a category of application, a job function, and a market vertical. It's a CRM, it's for salespeople, and it's in the aerospace vertical. We can see that his application was submitted successfully, and he can go back to his dashboard to get another look to see what's going on. Here, he can see his Space Age application is for Spacely Sprocket employees only. From this dashboard, he can manage his subscription, and he can test his application. But he's not going to do any of that right now. Instead, we're going to log out and take a look at the App Central from the point of view of an IT manager. So we're going to log in as Ingrid, the IT manager. Ingrid provides IT support to the field representatives at Spacely's. Because of the distributed nature of the employees, and because Spacely allows field representatives to use their own phones, she does not get the chance to physically install apps on each employee's phone. Rather, she uses App Central to provide an environment that allows field sales representatives to manage the applications on their own phones. From this interface, Ingrid can see that Dan from Development has an open ticket associated with him. If she double-clicks on him, she can see a more detailed view of what's going on. 
She sees that this open ticket is associated with the Space Age app, and it's Dan requesting an app approval. She can click on this magnifying glass to find the associated action in the panel below. And because she is deciding on an approval, she double-clicks on the application to get more details. She reads that it's an application for salespeople, and she decides that this is exactly the type of app that field representatives are looking for, so she adds it to the company catalog. She doesn't want to approve the application for all people in her company. She wants to do it on an individual basis as they ask for the app, so she chooses that option. This application contains AppGuard, so she chooses that checkbox. Ingrid knows this because she tested it earlier. She is able to approve the application because she feels confident that it will only be accessed by authorized personnel. The system has now figured out that there is a ticket associated with the action that we just took and asks us if we want to close it, which we do. If we look at this page, we can see that the app is now approved for the company. And we can go down here and change the approvals of the application for different users. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to log out and take a look at how Ed, the end user, can request an application. So we log in as Ed, the end user, and take a look at the App Central from his perspective. When he first comes in, he is on the company catalog page, and he sees the Space Age application was recently approved and is recommended for him. And it's grayed out because it is in his company catalog, but it's not approved for him specifically. He sees this lock under the application, which means that the application has AppGuard applied to it. Now, he clicks on the Space Age application so he can get more details about it. He reads that this app is for salespeople, and he's a salesperson, so he's interested in getting the app. He's going to request an approval. Now it shows up in his My Request section, and this ticket has been sent to his IT manager. If we open up another browser, we can actually log in as Ingrid, the IT manager, as well. When she logs in, she sees that there is a ticket open for Ed, the end user. And actually, when this ticket was sent, she also got an email saying that this ticket was opened. She double-clicks on Ed to take a closer look to see what's going on. She sees that Ed has requested an app approval for the Space Age app. She's going to click on the magnifying glass to find the associated action. Down here in the Action panel, she can approve it for just one of the user's devices, all of the user's devices, or deny the application. Looking at the page, she sees that Ed is in sales and the app is app-guarded, so she's comfortable with Ed having the app on his device. So she approves it. Once again, the system sees that there is an associated ticket and asks us if we want to close the ticket, which we do. Once this happens, another email has been sent that tells Ed that this ticket has been updated. We can go over to Ed's interface again and take a look at the company catalog. Ed sees that the Space Age application is approved for him now. It's no longer in grayscale. If he goes to his My Requests page, he'll see that his ticket was closed and the outcome was that the app was approved. Now he can download the app from the company catalog. What happens is he clicks Download and an SMS is sent to his phone, allowing him one unique download to his phone. He submits the download request, and he's done. So you can see how quickly App Central allows us to go from Dan, uploading the app, to Ingrid, approving it, to Ed, downloading it.